old case. New saw. Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you the new saw I bought. I'm going to tell you why I bought it. And then we're going to head off into the forest and we're going to fire it up for the very first time. I hope you'll stick around. Cheers. Many of you know on the channel that I've been looking probably since late spring and throughout the summer on and off at different options for a new chainsaw for the property. And if you watch the channel, you'll know that neighbor Bob and neighbor Guy are always ribbing me a bit about getting a big boy saw. Well, I got one today. It's a still MS261CM. The 261 is considered a pro series saw. In fact, it's a forestry saw. I didn't realize it before, but the old 251 I've had for years is in fact a landscape grade saw. They both have an 18 inch bar on them. However, what I found out with the Pro Series is that your 18 inch bar actually gives you a full 18 inches of cutting area. Whereas on the old 251, an 18 inch bar would only render you 16 inches. Saw's got much bigger dogs or spikes on it. Comes with what they call their captive nuts. So when you unscrew the housing and take it off, the nuts stay to the housing so you don't lose them in the forest. Got a decompression valve for starting. Toolless caps on both your gas and on your oil. The saw also has a manual adjustment so I can change or adjust the quantity of bar oil flowing out to the chain. But similar to the old 251, the pitch on the chain is a 0.325, but the chain in fact is longer, has about four to six more drive lengths than the old 251 did, which makes a lot of sense now that I realize that I'm getting a full 18 inches out of cutting. Many of you folks that follow the channel know that I've been looking for a saw for a long time. The 251 has been a great saw for years. Great build, very powerful for its size. But as you know, when we get into some of that really dry ash or maple, especially some of the bigger stuff, the 12, 14, 16 inch stuff, she labors a little bit getting through. She always gets through, but it labored. And I came to realize over the last couple of years, the more that I've been working in the forest and on the property, that I needed a professional series saw or something that had a little more torque or more horsepower and something that I could easily take with me out in the forest and would do the job and was built to do that job. I looked at a number of different saws throughout the summer and all the reviews I found on this 261 were positive. I don't think I found one single negative review on this saw but what surprises me about it it's a pro grade saw it has a larger engine and in fact about 28 percent more horsepower than my old 251 yet it weighs more than half a pound less. As I continued the quest for a new saw, I appreciate all the advice and suggestions I've received from a lot of folks over the last six or eight months, including a lot of long, lengthy, and detailed discussions with uh, Dave and Bill, who are longtime subscribers. Got some really good advice, and I want to explain to you why I chose the 261, and I didn't go into a 400 or a 600 series saw. Being that I was doing my research throughout the summer, and especially this last fall, trying to look at different options, it kind of made me keenly aware of what size trees we were felling and, and what size logs we were bucking up. And as I kind of expected, and as I've mentioned before, up here in these forests here, whether it's at Guy's Place or Bob's or mine, generally speaking, 90, 95% of what we're cutting is somewhere under 16 inches. We don't often get really big stuff. And so, although I looked at the 400 and the 600 series saws, it just seemed to make sense to me that if 95% of what I'm cutting is less than 16 inches, I probably don't think I need something in a four or 600 series. I think the 261 is going to have plenty of torque and horsepower for me, especially given what we're cutting here. And in all fairness, you know, when we do run into the odd 20 or 24 inch log, Guy and Bob have a couple of big saws and I think that'll look after things. That's why I chose to stay in this range with an 18 inch bar, not a 20. And I think with the added extra horsepower on this 261 and it's lightweight, I think it's probably the ideal choice for me. Of course, time will tell. Similar to my 251, this unit has what they call a shutter. It sits in here just around the carburetor. It's this small little plate. And as you can see, there's a picture of a sun, which means you slide it in in this direction. And there's a picture of a snowflake, which means you slide it in in that direction. And when you're working in cold temperatures like we are today, you flip that around and what it does, I believe, is it recirculates the warm air in and around the carburetor. Allows the saw to run much better. 
Important note though, it says in the manual that you do not want to leave it in the wrong position in the hot of the summer. Try it on this little stuff first. Wow, that is a huge difference in power. My goodness. One thing I have noticed though, the chain brake, she's touchy. As soon as my fingers touch it a little bit, she kicks on. The other one, you really had to push it, but uh, she runs really nice. Also, you put it into your cold start position. As soon as you get her cranked up, you just gotta touch your throttle and your lock and it automatically goes back to its run position on its own. Jeez, that's great. Let's go find something a little bigger. This'll do. Decompression. Well, stuttered it a few times there, but I think that was more me than the saw, but geez, that is night and day difference in power. Really surprising. I didn't expect it to be that much, but she runs really nice. Brand new, first time run. 
So I imagine after a couple of tankfuls, she'll settle in and I'm really happy with it. Super lightweight, runs really nice. You probably noticed there one time I forgot to push down the valve before I tried to pull it. You can feel the difference in compression. That decompression valve really works well. Well, thanks for sticking around today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new saw. I'm pretty excited. I'm all set, I think. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.